All right, so we're uh, working on a 19 and, or a 2002 YZ85, but this is gonna apply to almost every motorcycle if you're adjusting a clutch. If you're having problems adjusting a clutch or don't know how, this is gonna be the video you wanna watch. So I'm just gonna explain to you kind of really easily and quickly what the clutch does and just the easiest way to adjust it so you're not doing damage to your clutch. So this little piece right here locks the adjuster down. You can stick a screwdriver in here and grab both pliers and basically twist that. So to start with, just back this whole thing off. So you'll notice this is out pretty far and what that does is it stretches the cable out. And what it does is it pulls on this lever down here. You'll see underneath this towel that this cable is hooked up to that clutch arm right there. Now that little arm right there was what operates the clutch inside here. So when you pull this clutch in like this, you're gonna see that right down there, that is going to be moving. So you can see that that pulls that in. So when you pull that, that's how you shift. So when the clutch is in, it pulls that arm and your clutch plates separate and you have, uh, you can't go anywhere. You let the clutch out and they grab. All right, so where does the adjustment and play come in? If you don't have any play, meaning if you go to pull this lever in right now and it's has very little play, you're probably almost too close on the pressure. Now watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this out and that takes up all the play in the lever. Now sometimes you'll go up to somebody's motorcycle and you'll feel it and it's tight. It has no, no play in it. And what that does is, that means there's no play down here. So as soon as you touch the lever, it's acting like it's pulling the clutch in. So there's no free play. So that's already on the plate. So you can see as soon as you touch that, it already has pressure on it. So it's like you're all already pulling the clutch in. So that clutch will let out really, really late and it'll be at the end of the bars and you might give it full throttle that could spin because it's actually holding the clutch in a little bit. So we're gonna go the other way now and show you what, what happens when you loosen this. So if you loosen this all the way and go ahead and back this off, it's gonna give a bunch of slack. Now what's gonna happen here is we'll just do this exaggerated. You'll see there's a bunch of uh, play in the cable now. So when you pull the lever in, it has a bunch of free play. And you'll see what that looks like down there. It's moving it, but it's just free play. It hasn't ever touched anything yet. So now it's grabbing right there. And you'll see what that looks like. It's barely moving it. So now if you had the clutch in, you would put it in gear, it'd probably crunch and die. And as soon as you let it out, it comes off right off the bar because it isn't engaging the clutch or disengaging it properly. So what you want to do is go somewhere in between here and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Turn this knob out and adjust this. And as it starts taking up the play, let's go like that. Make an adjustment and you'll see down here at the same time, let's wiggle this back and forth and you'll see this moving. When it gets to the point where you have just a little bit of play on this mechanism right here, you can move this by hand. See how I can move that? That little bit of free play is what you want at all times. You want this to be relaxed so the clutch isn't pulling in and you wanna have that free play. And that little bit is up here in the lever. You'll see when I'm moving this, it's actually moving the lever. <clears throat> now up here, you'll notice it's loose and it has just a little bit of play. So right here, nothing's happening with any pressure. It's not pulling anything. You'll see that that's not moving now. So you can wiggle that in and out and it does not move the clutch arm. That means it's relaxed. <clears throat> At the point where this play leaves and you start to push on the clutch with a little bit of pressure, that's when you're gonna notice that's just slightly moving down there. And you'll see right there, right past the wiggle point, that little bit of play. It's just touching the clutch plates right now. And that's what it looks like on my finger just touching the plates. So now when you, you go, you'll have your clutch action right here and start to grab. And then now you should be able to shift it in gear. And when you release it, it should 
start to grab somewhere in the middle like it's supposed to, not right off the bar. And it'll start to grab. And then when you let it out, this should be completely loose. And this should have wiggle room in it. That means the inner inside here, the clutch is completely grabbing and bitten down 100%. So when you apply full throttle, it'll grab. And you have zero pressure on the clutch plates, which would be disengaging them. And the cable has no pressure on the perch. And that's how to properly adjust your clutch. When you get it adjusted to where you like it, get out on the trail and you can make a couple minor adjustments. If you wanted to bite uh, in a little bit earlier and let out off the bar, just loosen it up to where you like it releasing off of there. And remember, don't ever tighten it up so much like this that you take up all of the play out of your lever. If you ever come up unless you have a recluse lever or a recluse clutch, and you come up to a tight lever like that, and this arm has pressure on the cable, has no free play, and you can't push it back or forward, that's essentially like holding the clutch in with your hand already. You can tell that as soon as I touch the lever, even a tiny bit, it's moving the arm down there, see that? one tiny touch on the lever now so it's already engaged and that's going to be a slipping clutch anyway hopefully you find the uh, tips helpful and if this ever gets too far out where it, it becomes stripped there's usually a secondary adjustment on this cable like right here you can crack this nut you can spin this all the way in until this is on the shortest part this is how I usually set all mine up. I'll start from the very beginning with the most adjustment you can get this way. And I'll crack this and I'll make the adjustment in between the cable to take up this amount of play. That's the amount of play in between that cable and that you have adjust this one right here to take out that amount of play and then when you tighten this one up it'll put it where you have a lot of threads in the pocket right here and there's a lot of meat so it won't strip out on the end and you'll still have your adjustability right here you end up somewhere in the middle is how i kind of like mine that way you can go in or out and still have it where you want to be Anyway, those are the tips on how to adjust your clutch. Hopefully they help.